Well, howdy there. Here's a Milliken historical marker. Look at this semi with that load of hay. Wow. That's a load of hay. That's a load of hay. Wow. Big hay bales. Anyway. This is Texas Historical Commission Milliken CSA. This reads, Milliken was Texas's northernmost railroad terminus when the war between the states began in 1861. It became a vital Confederate shipping point for the area extending to the Red River on the north and to the frontier settlements in the west. The products of that region moved over the rails of the Houston and Texas Central Railroad from Milliken to Houston, Beaumont, Galveston, and Allyton. Confederate troops came by rail to nearby Camp Spite, a training and rendezvous point. Many marched over land from here for duty in Arkansas and Louisiana. Others in, trained here for Houston and Beaumont where they boarded ships for Neblet's Landing on the Sabine and other debarkation points. During the war, cotton from North Texas and the Brazos Valley went to market through Milliken to Allyton, the state's southernmost railroad terminus where it was transported over the Cotton Road by wagons and carts to Brownsville and Matamoros, Mexico. Returning wagons and carts brought military supplies and the merchandise, which eventually reached Milliken by rail for wide distribution. Milliken, which had been born with the coming of the railroad in 1859, flourished with the railroad and declined with the northward extension of the railroad that began in 1866. Memorial to Texans who served the Confederacy, 1963. Pretty good history of Milliken and the Texas Railroad and Commerce Transportation. And these are Farm Roads 2154 and 159 and I just uh, a pretty wild looking train engine that was back by that warehouse business over there there's railroad tracks and train engine anyway pretty uh, roadside historical marker